Hello, here is something interesting. Uh, here I have a bunch of ESP32 uh, development boards, mostly produced by M5 Stack uh, or LilyGo. And I have also this voltmeter module. And I need to say that for the first time I can measure voltage with great accuracy. In past I made couple Arduino projects that uh, can measure voltage using a built-in analog to digital converters and voltage divider. Uh, results were good, but not great. Problem is that uh, Arduino Uno have uh, only 10 bits analog to digital converters, so uh, voltage was always uh, shown as um, number between 0 and 1000. 1024. Another problem was that I was unable to measure negative voltage. This module can measure both negative and positive voltage. Um, ESP32 boards have built in uh, 12 bits analog to digital converters, but uh, in reality they, they are even worse than converters on Arduino. So, to get accurate values using external high precision uh, analog digital converter is only way. Mm. You will also need a voltage divider because uh, we want to measure voltages that are higher than 3.3 volts. And this module have all of that built in. It have a great 16 uh, bits analog to digital converter. Uh, it have built-in voltage divider and best part is that there is also built-in EEPROM chip which will save your calibration data. Yes, you can calibrate this module and later in video I will show you how to do this. Uh, this module is also produced by M5 Stack company and it can be connected to any M5 Stack device using this groove cable. It is very easy, uh, but you can see that it will work on any ESP32 or Arduino board. With little soldering I was able to run it on, uh, uh, to use it with this TTGO T-Display board. So, this is great module for many projects, you can test batteries or monitor your solar system or send data over internet to your phone or um, I don't know use it when testing or troubleshooting electronics button if you want to buy this voltmeter module or any of these development boards uh, links will be in description also when buying this module there is a discount code in the description so don't forget to use it that way you will buy it uh, much cheaper uh, but hurry up because code uh, discount code will be active for only for some time in the description uh, you can also uh, download uh, Arduino IDE code for each of these boards uh, let's continue with testing here I have uh, this adjustable power supply you can see that values uh, are pretty accurate. And when I compare it with my multimeter, results are also good. Here I'm using M5 Stick C, cheapest port here, or here is M5 Stick C+, new version with bigger screen but also higher price. It will even work on this M5 paper board. So this is probably first A ink voltmeter. It is a little slow, but it can. 
but it works. I know that uh, this video will uh, get lots of comments like uh, too expensive project, uh, you can buy voltmeter for $2, uh, this don't make sense, you can buy a whole multimeter for $3 and so on. I hate these comments. When someone uh, make a blinking traffic uh, light uh, with Arduino, that is a super cool project. But uh, when I make Arduino calculator, the, then uh, there is always someone uh, smart to tell me that I can buy calculator for one dollar. I know that today you can buy anything. Okay, let's talk about code and uh, calibration. Device came to me calibrated, but calibration of this device is pretty easy. In M5 stack example folder there, there is example for this module um, it looks simple but is it is great for learning and it can be used for calibration you will only need adjustable power supply you will choose desired voltage in this case 5 volts you will need to adjust same voltage on power supply and press save device will calibrate itself and calibration data will be stored in EEPROM chip. So you need to do this only once if your data are not accurate. Okay, this is part of video where I will beg for you for subscribers. So please check my other videos and please subscribe to this channel uh, lately I'm spending lots of my free time to make videos and I hoping that uh, for somebody these videos are will be useful and maybe I will one day improve my English thank you have a nice day stay safe and Bye.